During DNA replication, the enzyme DNA helicase causes the two strands of the double helix to unwind and separate, forming a replication fork. Next, short lengths of single-stranded RNA molecules called primers pair with complementary regions in each of the DNA strands. In the polymerase chain reaction which was used by Dr. Minotti Raymond to duplicate Snowball's DNA, the primers were made of DNA, not RNA. New DNA strands are built as the enzyme DNA polymerase adds free nucleotides to the ends of the primers. Note how the new strands are built in opposite directions. The reason is that DNA polymerase can only synthesize DNA in one direction, from the 5' prime end to the 3' prime end. Since the two strands in the parent DNA molecule are oriented in opposite directions, the synthesis of new DNA strands also occurs in opposite directions. As the replication fork moves forward, the DNA strand that is being made in the direction of the replication fork, that is in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, is synthesized continuously. There is no need for an additional priming event. In contrast, the strand being made in the opposite direction of the replication fork must be synthesized discontinuously in short fragments because DNA polymerase can only synthesize DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Because DNA synthesis in this strand is discontinuous, a separate priming event must precede the synthesis of each DNA fragment. Eventually, a different type of DNA polymerase replaces the RNA primer with DNA, and the two separate fragments are joined together by the enzyme DNA ligase. As the replication fork advances along the length of the DNA molecule, Continuous and discontinuous synthesis of the two new strands occurs until two complete double-stranded daughter DNA molecules are produced.